Am I the a-hole for ruining my ex's reputation? She, 25, cheated. I, 26, learned about it in September, but she was pregnant at the time already. I said, fine, we'll break up, but I want to see my daughter. Well last week, her parents, her brothers, and I were at the hospital to see her giving birth to a dark-skinned girl. I'm Russian. She is Japanese. I left the same moment I saw the child. Her parents were mad at both of us. Her older brother threatened me if break her heart now. Then, my ex posted a picture of her and her daughter, tagged me and said, look at this jewel, so beautiful and yet her father left us for an old timer. Yes, my current GF is 38 and who cares. I love her and she kind of got pregnant in November. I simply replied with, every color blind person can see that this child isn't mine. She took the post down an hour later, but man, her comments exploded, and so did my DMs. Around 230 of her followers wrote me if it's true, that I am not her father. Well duh. I posted a DNA test that proved that the child is not mine and wrote below the post, God bless my luck. I was referring to the fact that I don't have to raise a stranger's child. And the second slide was a picture of me and my GF standing next to each other with my hand on her stomach. Well, she lost around 50% of her followers and dozens of friends. As of right now, I know that she is being harassed online and deleted her entire account. Facebook account was deleted, and she even deleted her WhatsApp account. This happened in a span of what? 8 hours? I am quite satisfied about the post that I made, and me and my current girlfriend are watching Brooklyn 99 while laughing at screenshots of her comment sections that my friend sent me. So, am I the a-hole for ruining my ex-girlfriend's reputation? Those who harass me because of the post from my ex also harassed my girlfriend, I am glad they apologized though and left us alone. Edit, thanks for the awards, but don't waste them on my post, there must be 100 posts in your feed that deserve it more than mine. All I did was play the reverse card on my ex. Edit 2, for those thinking why does this guy already have a new girlfriend and all that? I have extreme fear of being alone. I lost my father 6 years ago, and with him, my older sister. My mom died two and a half years ago and left me and my little brother, who was 16 at the time, alone. No relatives here and I had to take care of him. I had extreme fear of losing him and living alone. The only crutch for this fear was my ex, and after we broke up, I became anxious again and went back into dating very fast. Thinking about it now, it was the best idea while not the best thing to do. Edit 3, the last thing I want are people wasting their reddit currency on my post. I don't mind if you do just know that you can save them for something else, I won't get mad if you don't reward me. Also, helpful awards makes me feel like there are others out there that are in the same position but can't cope with it like I did. Medals for you, you guys slash girls didn't deserve such things. No one deserves being cheated on and I know that you feel horrible for a certain time and your confidence is at the ground. For some it takes hours, for some it takes months, to accept the fact that your partner cheated on you because you were too good for him slash her. You are loved and wanted. Just that this person knew that you were way above them and they couldn't cope with that. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole. She ruined her own reputation by cheating, and then trying to make you own up to a child that's not yours. You didn't do anything wrong by defending your name. I am trying to stay serious here, but I can't help but laugh. Thank you, Ben Shapiro the God. Not the a-hole. Not only did she cheat, she also tried to lie about it on social media and ruin your reputation. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Not the a-hole. You dodged a bullet there, mate. No bullet to dodge. The child was dark-skinned. DNA test said it ain't mine and it was obvious. I was already done with her, I just wanted my daughter, but turned out I don't have one. I mean, I wouldn't say obvious. It's possible for a someone light-skinned to have a dark-skinned baby, if there is someone dark-skinned somewhere in the baby's lineage. I've read a few stories with such surprises. Of course, you got the DNA test, so the child isn't yours. I just wanted to clear up the misconception. Yeah, I know that, and I considered that because the paternity test arrived a few days after the birth and I was unsure. Not the a-hole. She set herself up. People have eyes. I am half blind on one eye. I think she had hopes. The next story is titled. Am I the a-hole for blaming my dad for bringing my stepbrother into my life? My wife had an affair with him. My wife had an affair with my stepbrother. 
It was possibly the single most devastating thing I've been through. My marriage is over and everything is wrapped up money-wise. But I have a lot of anger and resentment at my dad for even bringing the piece of work that is my stepbrother into my life. He was always a negative presence in our family, and I've complained to my dad numerous times as to how our stepbrother was awful to my sister and myself. But my dad turned a blind eye because he was desperate to keep the sham of a family together. My dad has begged for forgiveness, but I no longer talk to him. My sister doesn't talk to him as well as an act of solidarity. I also told my granddad that I can no longer work in his company if my dad and stepbrother work there. I told him I was quitting. My granddad ended up firing my dad and stepbrother instead. And he's cutting my dad out of his will, because he saw how hurt I was by everything. He doesn't want my stepbrother to benefit from him in any way. My dad reached out recently to say he is separating from his wife, so there will be zero link to my stepbrother. And if I would be open to talking to him. I said he was 15 years too late and stopped responding. Am I the a-hole for blaming my dad for playing a part in this? You're the a-hole. This has nothing to do with your dad bringing him into your life. This has to do with your ex-wife's commitment issues. Your stepbrother and ex-wife are the a-hole. The fact it took granddad cutting the dad out of his will, just goes to show he never cared about his kids. He was with stepmother for all this time, but as soon as he's about to lose money, he breaks it off? Please, that man is as selfish as they get. Not the a-hole. Your granddad is a legend. Make sure you buy him a gift and spend some quality time with the man. Seriously, nice that you have someone like him in your life. This right here. You've got family that really cares about you and isn't afraid to stand by you. Spend your time fostering those relationships. They are the ones that will matter in the long run. You're the a-hole. Your wife, an autonomous adult, cheated on you with your stepbrother, another autonomous adult. Your father did not facilitate this, simply by your stepbrother being around because of him. If he works with you for your grandfather, that is situational. Your father did not sweep your stepbrother into your life to steal your wife. You are being needlessly cruel to your parent because your unrelated brother screwed your wife. You are being cruel to your own parent because your wife screwed your stepbrother. You are not being cruel to your dad because your dad did something wrong. You literally turned his own parent against him to fuel your petty rage. You are so far from not being the a-hole, that I'm surprised you aren't being studied by proctologists for being made entirely out of an a-hole. Now for the next story. Just found out my, 21 male, mom, 41 female, is cheating on my dad, 41 male, with her co-worker, and I don't know what to do. An hour ago, my sister came into my room and broke down crying saying she found messages on my mother's phone proving she was cheating on my dad. My dad is a very good man, he has been working abroad really hard for the last six years, so we could have a decent life at home, while he is alone in another country. I love both my mom and dad, they were always helpful, supportive and good parents overall, and I'm desperate right now and don't know what to do about this. The feeling is terrible, I'm constantly feeling like I'm about to throw up and it's driving me insane that my mom would do this. I understand it's hard. Not having your loved one beside you and being separated for six years, only seeing each other every now and then and I don't know if I should pass judgment. But my father deserves to know because he works very hard to provide, and has sacrificed pretty much his entire life to do so. I still love my mother, but I can't just get over this and not say anything. I just don't know what to do, or where to start. I kinda don't want to tell this to my dad unless it's face to face, even though he stopped drinking a while back and isn't prone to hurting himself. I just can't imagine what news like this could do to your mind and I'm scared for him. My sister and I had agreed we would wait till Monday, so we can talk about it when my mom leaves for work, but I don't know what to do. I'm seriously desperate and need advice. Please help. Now for the top advice. Here are your options. Option 1, keep it a secret. You are betraying your father and aiding your mother and hurting him. She puts him at risk of STDs, disrespects him, and the longer it goes on the more he will be hurt when he finds out. Option 2, talk with your mother. You know she's a liar. You have proof that she's capable and willing to lie to her family for her own reasons. If you reveal to her that you know her secret, you give her a chance to do damage control, to erase evidence, and to minimize her deed. Option 3, tell your father. Your father's an adult. He deserves to know. It's your choice if you want to give him evidence anonymously, or to tell him personally. My vote is option 3. I'm definitely not keeping it a secret, 
my sister says she took photos of the messages, but I just couldn't make myself to look at those, and I just don't know how to tell this to my dad over the phone. Tell your dad, tell your mom you told your dad. Tell them both that you love them and let them know what your wishes are, that is, I hope you can work it out, or I just want you guys to be happy. Beyond this OP, they need to deal with this as a couple. This does not fall on you. Whatever decision they make, they will make it as a couple and, while you are a part of their family, there are boundaries in terms of their private romantic life as a couple. Do not think it's your fault this happened. Even if you are the one who tells, or your sister, people make mistakes, and they need to face the consequences of their actions. Do not think that you have to fix their relationship. Perhaps they want to be happy separated slash divorced, perhaps they want to work it out. Whatever the case may be, they will continue loving you and being your parents, but this is something they have to work out themselves. Do not feel like you have to talk to your parents about this. They most likely will need couples therapy, but this does not fall on you OP. Be prepared to say, I am not comfortable talking about this. This doesn't mean that I don't love you, or that I do not care about your situation. But you have to draw limits about how much you need to partake in these conversations, to protect your own feelings. Source, I dealt with a similar situation as a teenager and, through therapy as an adult, I practiced, with my therapist, what I would say slash do differently. Take care of yourself OP. Dad, are you and mom in an open relationship? No, I need to talk to you about something. Yes, okay never mind. I honestly agree with asking this question first. I've revealed a few affairs, and I always start with, do you have an open relationship, or a don't ask don't tell policy with your spouse? Unfortunately, each time the question has been met with, sharp inhale no. Now for the last story. My, 35 male, wife, 38 female, told me that she was having an affair with my brother, 40 male, in her self-harm note. I don't know what to do to go after becoming depressed due to several factors, she lost her job, and her mom died in under a month, and the stress became too much. We have five young children together, and so I dived into taking care of them and tried not to think about her, which was obviously hard. I didn't read her last note immediately, because it was too hard. But a week ago, I decided to read it. In the note, my wife apologized, said that she loved me and the kids more than anything, but that the combined weight of her mother's death and her losing her job had become too much. She said that the weight of her secret was becoming too heavy, and that she couldn't deal with it any longer. Apparently, for the past three years, she had been having an affair with my older brother, 40 male. I was devastated, angry, confused, and still am. I didn't know what to do, nor what to think, and I still don't. My wife had cheated on me previously, but I trusted that she would never hurt me like that again. For context, we'd been dating for 10 years overall, and married for 8. I don't know what to do. Do I tell my brother that I know? Do I just pretend that I don't know anything? I don't want to ruin our relationship or cause a rift in the family, and I don't want to tear my children away from their uncle. I've never been a confrontational person but I'm not sure if I can look at him and just stay silent. Please help me. Hey man, have you seen a therapist? The weight of all this, paired with having to raise so many kids, is immense. I think the affair needs to be addressed but my primary concern is that you have somewhere you can process, turn to for help. No, I haven't. I don't have the time. I can't imagine how busy your life is, especially now. I didn't have the time for years and that landed me in the psych ward for a self-ending attempt. I learned that you have to make time. You have to. Your mental health is so important, for you and for your children too. It may take some rearranging of priorities, but trust me when I say, that it is absolutely vital you do so. If you were diagnosed with cancer tomorrow, would you not go to chemo because you didn't have the time? I have an idea for you. I am a single dad and a widower, but the rest of your story is something we don't share. What we do share is putting the kids first. As for dealing with your brother, with no family strife, no angry confrontation, and still get some kind of satisfaction? All I can think is to copy the note, hand him the copy in private, and say not a single word to him. Not a word. No matter what comes out of his mouth. No matter how intensely provocative he may get. Let him worry about family strife. Let him worry about his role in your wife's passing. Let him worry about what you just might do with that note. Keep him worried by doing nothing, acting like nothing is amiss maintaining strictest silence on the entire matter, and staying focused on your kids. Not perfect, but best I can do with your constraints. 
Best wishes. I hope OP reads this. This is the best advice. But I'd also add therapy into that. I caught my brother with my wife. He ceased to be my brother at that point. You should confront him. I never forgave him. He's been dead 25 years, but dead to me longer. Not saying this is the path you should take, but what he did is something a true brother would not do. Tell the entire family and let him deal with the consequences. Brother, I know you don't want to get your children's DNA tested, but this will eat at your soul. Like the other Redditors have asked, please get therapy. You can't do this by yourself. Take time to process what has just happened to you, calm yourself, and let the truth come to light. I'm praying for you. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.